Meanwhile, doctors are using an experimental treatment on President Trump. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton spoke to a local doctor excited about the promising drug and the one big obstacle in the way to finishing trials right here in the Bay Area. Team and I are extremely happy with the progress the president has made. Good news for President Donald Trump. The president has been at Walter Reed Hospital since Friday after testing positive for COVID-19. Now, even though he's doing better, as doctors say, he's still not out of the woods just yet. You know, obviously, he's going to get the best care mm -hmm. in the world yeah. because he's the president. Dr. Kami Kim so, is a physician and the director of the Division of Infectious Diseases and International Medicine at USF. And she's also leading the local trial of an experimental antibody drug cocktail by Regeneron. It's the same treatment being used on the president. This is a completely investigational drug. It's very promising. Even though this drug has not been officially approved to treat COVID-19, the FDA has given permission under its compassionate use request, which allows treatment to those not in the clinical trial like the president. Preliminary studies indicate that in early disease, it should be helpful. And all the data that's available does indicate it should be safe. According to Regeneron, the drug speeds up the healing and protective process by mimicking what you would normally get a couple weeks after contracting the virus. I'm very excited about this. But Dr. Kim says there's a problem. Less than 10% of the patients here in the Tampa Bay area are willing to participate in the trial. And doctors are hoping more people will come around now that the president has decided to take the treatment. This um, antibody cocktail is likely to be very safe. Oh, There's several other treatments being tested as well. In Tampa, JJ Burton, ABC, Action News.